Hey y'all, thank you so much for tuning in today. Today's yoga flow is going to be focused around releasing stagnant energy, getting things moving, and releasing anything which no longer serves us, as well as tuning into the body at the end with a calming body meditation. So have a strap or towel handy, um, maybe a blocker or two as well, for some modification options as we move through the practice today. Always listen to your body, never go to pain, and always, always breathe. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but as the things get harder and we do some more difficult things, it is easy to forget about the breath. So yeah, right, Akoe? Okay, that all being said, I will meet you on the mat, have your favorite playlist cued, and let's get going. All right, so coming to a comfortable seat on our mat, let's begin to just be grounded and present together. So taking your hands facing down today, letting your eyes close, let your shoulders roll back and down a few times, finding some space there. And let's check in real quick with your heart. Is it over your hips or trying to pull forward? And we're gonna try and get it to come back over the hips as much as you can. Relaxing here and then letting your eyes close when you find your nice and tall position with as much relaxation as you can muster. Closing the eyes and we're focusing on the breath. Easy breathing in, easy breathing out. How does your breath feel today? Is it feeling calm and deep? Maybe a little rushed, a little fast, a little shallow? Without judgment, we just check in with the breath and notice how it feels. And then let's check in with the body. How does the lower body feel today where it meets the earth, the ankles, the hips, the knees? How does the lower back feel today? The ribs, the heart, the shoulders, the arms, the hands. How does your neck feel? the back of your head, your face, the tip top of your head, your crown. Just noticing any and all sensations without judgment. Seeing how you are showing up to your practice here and now. And let's set the intention today to release anything which is no longer serving you in your journey, whatever that may be. Let's seal this intention with three deep clearing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Deep breath in to prepare, in through the nose. Out through the mouth, let go. Three more, just like this. In through the nose, fill the whole body with air. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. Two more. Last one. Coming back to the breath, naturally breathing. How does it feel now? And gently opening the eyes. We'll get some movement going in our practice. Let's inhale, reach the hands towards the sky. And we're gonna just check in and notice what's going on in the shoulders and the upper body. Something that tends to happen pretty consistently is our shoulders will shrug up and our rib cage will flare forward. So we're gonna try to tuck that rib cage in and drop those shoulders down as we reach nice and tall. And then we're gonna take the right arm by the right hip, bending that right elbow. Left elbow comes over the left ear, left fingertips reach long. Pushing that left hip into the earth, deep breath in. Exhale, let's go to the other side. Left hand to the earth, left elbow bends in towards the side. Right elbow comes up and over the right ear. Right fingertips reach towards that left wall as the right hip pushes into the ground. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Coming back up tall, reaching those hands to the sky, relaxing the shoulders, tucking the rib cage in. Let's take the hands behind the head. 
Keep those shoulders down. Keep that rib cage tucked in so it's not flaring forward, but you've got that nice and long spine. Deep breath in here. Exhale, let's pull that right elbow behind you, trying to find a gentle twist. Now you don't want the elbows to come towards each other, you're still keeping them wide. We're just twisting to the right by pulling back through that right shoulder, that right elbow. And then let's go to the other side, pulling back through the left elbow, keeping those elbows as far apart from each other as you can. And back to the right side, back to the left. One more time each way to the right side. Keep breathing as we go. Back to the left. And coming back to center. Let's reach those hands nice and tall, but keep the shoulders down, the rib cage in. Hands come behind you, walk the hands back, lift the heart, let the head fall back. Deep breath in. Exhale, fold over the legs. You can always shake the head, yes or no, in your little fold here. For three, two, one, slowly coming up. Let's take the feet to the earth, knees to the sky, drop the knees a little side to side for windshield wipers. All righty, from here we're going to come onto our back. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me better. But you don't have to turn. <laughs> You're just going to come long ways onto your mat. And we're going to check in with our hips. We want the hips to be tucked under so you're elongating through the lower back. And a way to check in with this is if you feel, and you can even stick your hand in there, if you have an arch going on in your lower back, if your lower back is coming off of the earth, that's what we're trying to fix. We're trying to get that low back to touch the earth and minimize that arch. All right, from there, let's check in with the rib cage. We also want that to be tucked in. So great little thing to do for that, having the hands in the rib cage, you can feel it. Lifting the head up and lengthening the spine. And you can feel that rib cage get a little bit more flat. From here, let's take the hands onto the ground, palms face down, and the knees come to 90 degrees. Checking back in, did the lower back begin to arch? Is the heart, the back of the heart also still on the earth? making those adjustments as necessary for your body. And with the knees at 90 degrees, this can definitely be more than enough because we are engaging through that core. And now we're going to also engage through the glutes, the hips, and the legs. So if you want to come to the next variation with me, again, staying here can be enough as you learn to adjust the pelvis and get that length and movement going there. Otherwise, what we're going to do, without bending the knee any farther, we're going to hinge that right foot towards the earth. So you're moving through the pelvis and the hips, not the knee. The knee is coming up and down, but it's not actually bending anymore. It's going through the hip. We're moving that pelvis. Just coming up and down at your own pace. Always breathing, because that core can get shaky here as we keep it engaged. And do a little bit of muscle confusion, because it doesn't always work in this way. It's like, what are you doing right now? You're making it isolated and confused, which is great for listening to the body, for toning it, or at least we're getting it to listen to you. For three, two, one. All right, let's go to that left side. So again, remember you're moving through the hip and the pelvis. You are not bending that knee any more than it already is. Trying to tap that left heel to the earth and all the way back out, moving nice and slow with control, always breathing. Trying to keep that back flat to the earth as you do so. Tuning into the body. For three, two, one. All right, coming back to our 90 degree neutral position. We're gonna straighten the legs to the sky. I want you to lift the hips off the earth just a little bit, checking in and noticing that feeling. And you're not even really lifting it just an inch. You're just kind of checking in and rolling that pelvis towards the sky. So you're lengthening through the lower back and unlocking that pelvis a little bit. All right, one more of those. 
and then relaxing that lower back. We're going to take our fingertips towards the sky now. Legs are as straight as we can get them. They're trying to get heels over hips and as straight as you can. If your hamstrings are tight, there might be some bend in the knees and that's okay. Don't hurt yourself here. Listen to your body. Modify as needed. All right. With your legs as straight as you can get them, flex the feet so toes come towards the knees and that's going to help lengthen the back of the legs. We're keeping this nice and active as we're now going to include our core and our upper body. So fingertips are spread and reaching towards the sky and we're going to reach the shoulder blades up off the earth without actually lifting the back off of the earth. So you're rounding the shoulder blades towards the sky and then lowering it back down. So your arms are going to come a little bit wider and your elbows might bend a little. But we're reaching those fingertips towards the sky, reaching through the shoulder blades. You can see my shoulders coming all the way off the earth and then all the way back down, trying to get as much of it to touch as possible. And depending on your body, this might feel a little awkward and that's great. Again, that muscle confusion, trying to get it to figure out what's going on and getting a little bit more control and awareness back into our body. So if you've ever done scap push-ups, this is a similar idea. We're working with the scapula here to kind of train it to work the right way and see what's going on. See how much awareness you have in the scap and in the shoulders. So you're reaching the fingertips to the sky, rounding the, the scapula towards the front of the body and then releasing it slowly all the way back down to the earth, moving at your own pace all the while. Legs are still reaching tall, feet are still flexed, and your breath is nice and steady. For three, two, one. All right, reaching the fingertips of the sky, shoulders are kind of relaxed here. We're now going to lift the heart just a little bit and we're going to tuck it in towards the legs. So we're lifting up, just doing a small crunch and all the way back in. It's just a few inches, basically just getting the head off of the earth. So now we're engaging the core a little bit, moving nice and slow. Legs are still engaged. Fingertips still reach towards the sky and they're just going to come up a few inches towards the feet. They do not have to touch the feet. It's not about touching the feet. It's about lengthening and extending through the pelvis all the way up to the back. For three, two, one. Come back down, hug the knees and take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let's take the hands behind the knees and we're going to rock and roll on the spine a few times. Getting some nice little massage tap fix there. And we're going to roll all the way up to a seat, taking the legs nice and long in front of you. You can remove any extra flesh from under the sit bones if that helps your seat. All right, and we're going to inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands behind the back. Walk the hands back, fingertips point in towards the bum. Spreading through the fingertips, pushing down through the palms, grounding through the heels. Let's lift up into reverse plank. Inhale and lift with the head fall back. Lengthening through the whole body, pushing down through the heels and the palms. Even the fingertips are engaged here. Lift that heart, lift the hips. Keep breathing for three, two, one. Let's come back down to the earth. And again, you can remove extra flesh from under the hips to create a better seat. And walk it forward, coming into your seated forward fold. You can always shake the head, yes or no. Deep breath in, deep breath out, slowly coming up, let's come into all fours. Palms under shoulders, knees under hips, let's let take a moment for some cat cow. We're going to drop the belly, lift the heart, exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the chin, exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Just a few more times like this, moving at your own pace.
last time. And then coming back to neutral spine. Let's tuck the toes under the feet, lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. You can pedal out the knees, any movement that feels good here. You can be playful with your practice. And looking at the palms, let's reach that right leg to the sky and then step it forward for lunge. Wiggle, scoot, whatever you need to do here to find that placement. And we're going to ground through that left palm under the left shoulder. Left elbow, the inside of the elbow faces in towards that right knee. And then we're going to reach the right arm towards the sky. If this is too much, you can take the right hand towards the hip instead. Find what works for your body. Try to keep those shoulders down because we may have a tendency to shrug. For three, two, one. Back to the earth we go. We're going to ground through the palms and set it back to plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale for a low cobra. You can stay in here, keep the elbows in the sides, keeping the heart nice and low as it reaches back. If you want high cobra, we're going to push down through the palms. The elbows still stay in as you find a little bit more length towards the sky, a little bit more height. And then tuck the toes under the feet. Come back to downward facing dog. Make any adjustments you need. Maybe walking the hands to the feet, maybe a little bit closer together. And then left leg to the sky, looking forward, step it through for lunge on the left leg. Wiggle, scoop, whatever you need to do to get there. And then we're going to ground the right palm to the earth, inside of the elbow faces the left knee, left knee is at nice 90 degrees, protecting the joints. And then left arm can come to the sky or to the hip, depending on your body today. For three, two, one, left hand back to the earth, step it back to plank, come all the way down to the belly, inhale to cobra, low or high, whatever works for your body, and back to down dog. Deep breath in and out, and then looking at the feet, let's walk the hands back to the feet. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale, fold forward. Relax the head, you can shake it out a little side to side, whatever feels good. Here, let's slowly come up inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way to the sky, reaching it nice and high. And then we're gonna take our hands long in front of us. Begin to come down into a squat or chair pose, sending those hips behind you, trying to keep the knees over the toes. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's push all the way back up to the sky, taking the hands up by the ears, and now coming up to the toes on the feet. Balancing through the balls of the feet, trying to stay steady here. All right, and from here, we're going to bring it back down to the squat, but keeping our balance on our tips of the toes here. Trying to keep the heart tall. And how low can you come? Can you send your hips onto your heels? with balance and control. And then with just as much awareness, we're gonna take the hands up by the ears as we come back into standing. Finding steady gazing point in front of you will help. Steady breathing is also gonna help. And if you ever fall out, just find your way back. We're gonna come down with control and up at your own pace. Nice and steady, slow movements. It's about moving with control and awareness, not how fast you can go. And last one. Come up and hold, <laughs> even if you have to kind of falter around to find your position and your balance. Holding and breathing for three, two, one. Send the heels back to the earth, forward fold, shake out the hips, any movement that feels good here.
Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, hands to hips. Balancing through that left leg, we're going to take the right arm high. We're going to take this right foot and kick it behind us and take the right hand back to grab the right foot. If you can't grab the right foot with your hand, you can always use a strap or just actively reaching towards it. <laughs> All right, once you have your position with that right foot engaged, you're gonna kick back through the right foot into that right hand or strap or towel, whatever you have handy. Left arm comes up by the left ear. Keep the shoulders down, rib cage tucked in, right foot kicking back. You might feel this in the front of that right leg. Steady breathing for three, two, one. Let's release it, shake it out, anything that feels good, and go to the other side. Right hand, right hip, left arm to sky, left leg kicks back. Left hand can come down, and if you can't grab it with a hand, remember you can use a strap or a towel, or just actively reaching towards it. And if you have that foot in your hand, strap, or towel, you can begin to kick that left foot back into the hand to create a little bit more tension and release in that left hip. Right arm comes up by the right ear. Steady gaze, steady pose. Shoulders down, rib cage in, kicking back through that left leg. And you might find one side feels different than the other, and that's okay. For three, two, one. Release, shake it out. All right, so you can do that variation or come a little bit deeper with me. So taking left hand, left hip, right hand to the sky, kicking that right foot back, and then the right hand, strap or towel, come back to that right leg, left arm to the sky. Again, this could absolutely be enough, finding your variation. And taking just a gentle bend in that left knee, because we don't want that left leg locked. We're going to begin to hinge the heart forward, nice and slow. You can see I'm not falling. I'm hinging from the hips. Hinging from the hips as far forward as you can go. So kicking that right foot into the hand. And then once I find my maximum hinge, I'm gonna release that left arm and it's just gonna to dangle towards the earth or maybe touch the earth if you have that flexibility today. For three, two, one. Slowly take that left hand back up and hinge all the way back up with control if you can. And then release that right leg. Okay, coming to the other side. Right hand, right hip, left arm towards the sky. Kicking that left foot back. Taking hold of that left foot one way or another or finding your variation that works for you today. Right hand comes to the sky. You can stay here, of course, or maybe begin to find that hinge. Hinging through the hips. Steady gaze, steady breath. And then when you find your final hinge, releasing the right fingertips towards the earth, one side can absolutely be more steady than the other. A block can also be handy here for three, two, one. Right hand comes back up by the ear, slowly coming back up with control as much as you can muster, and releasing it to the earth. Let's do one more time each side. All righty. Left hand, left hip, right arm to the sky. Kick that right foot back. Right hand comes to that right foot. And then left hand comes to the sky. And then begin our hinge. Taking your time. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need to go a little slower. This goes at your own pace. It's your practice. Releasing the fingertips maybe towards the block or the earth. Or just free falling. Holding here for three, two, one. Coming back up, shaking it out. This is getting a little tougher as we're getting a little bit more tired. All right, coming to the final side. Right hand, right hip, left hand to the sky. Kick that left foot back and it comes down to grab the foot. Right hand up by the ear. Again, hinging the heart forward, gripping the earth with the toes. Find that hinge and then lower that hand. Easy breathing for three, two, one. Coming back up and shake it out. All righty. 
Taking a breath, taking any movement you need. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, back to the sky. We're going to take the feet wide. I'm going to turn so you can see me better. And we're going to take the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers and fold forward. You can play with the placement of the toes facing in or out or more parallel with each other. Just depend on what feels best for you and your body today. Let those arms drop overhead best you can. Opening through the shoulders. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Slowly coming halfway up. Release the arms, just shake them out. Maybe taking the legs a little bit wider, toes point out, knees have a gentle bend. And let's just sway side to side. Just letting the arms kind of shake out, getting a little bit deeper movement in the hips. You can dance with it, whatever feels good. Listen to your body. Have fun with your practice. All right, and then we're gonna inhale and sweep it all the way up to the sky. Exhale, take the hands to the earth. You can play with the toe placement again, whatever feels best for you. Find your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, pushing through the palms. We're going to jump or walk the feet in together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold into your standing forward fold. Then we're gonna take our time coming down to the earth. Coming all the way down onto our backs. Let's hug the knees in. Take any movement that feels good here. You can roll out that lower back by having the hands on the knees and just drawing circles with them, going both directions. And from here, let's take that left foot to the earth and the right foot, right ankle over that left knee, flexing that right foot. This can be enough or begin to bring that left knee back at a 90 degree angle, bringing both knees towards the heart, keeping both feet flexed to protect the joints. Modified figure four, modified pigeon. Pigeon is ever too much for you. This is a great variation to take. Deep breath in. Exhale, let's take that left foot to the earth and we're gonna switch out the legs. Right foot comes to the earth. Left foot comes just above that right knee. Keeping both feet flexed, this can be enough. Or drawing the knees towards the heart, trying to keep that 90 degree angle in that right knee. right foot to the earth, take the left foot to the earth, soles of the feet come together, let the knees drop wide, and one hand comes over the belly, one hand comes over the heart, letting the eyes close and the body just become relaxed, as comfortable as possible. If this is uncomfortable, you can always add pillows or blocks underneath the knees for a little added support. And you're more than welcome to take Shavasana here today or in our regular corpse pose with legs long and arms out the sides. Or you can stay in our reclined butterfly with soles lifted together, knees wide, and one hand over the belly, one hand over the heart. Listen to what feels best for you. And if you ever need to adjust, do so. Relaxing into our comfortable position, whichever you have chosen for your meditation today. Let the eyes close, the body be still. Begin to relax and just let my voice fade into the background. 
when the mind grows agitated, the body often follows suit. Luckily, the relationship between the mind and the body is a two-way street. And as you calm the body, the mind will likewise relax. So today we're going to focus on a deep breathing technique to help the body calm down, to be more present, and to release. Relaxing into our position that we've chosen with our eyes closed. Let's tune into the sensation of our breath at the nostrils. Focusing on that deep, full belly breathing, filling up the whole body with air, in through the nose, out through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. Let's just spend some time here focusing on the breath. And staying with the breath, we're going to picture our left arm filling with the energy of the breath, whatever that visualization looks like to you. Go with it. As you breathe in, the arm fills with the energy of the breath. As you breathe out, imagine pushing the breath energy out through your fingertips. Tune in to the left arm as you do this, keeping both the physical body and the visualization in your awareness. And if your mind ever wanders off into thought, gently bring it back to the breath. And now as you breathe in, go to the right arm, filling the right arm with the breath energy. Exhale and release the energy through the right fingertips. Continue breathing in and out through the right arm. Now shift your awareness to your torso. Visualize filling the entire chest and abdomen with breath energy as you inhale. Push the breath down and out through the bottom of the spine and tailbone as you exhale. And coming to the left leg. Start with the left leg and inhale through it. Exhale, breathe out through the foot. And now breathing into the right leg. Inhale into the right leg. Exhale, pushing the breath out through the right foot.
And finally, let's bring it all together. Breathe in and fill your entire body with the breath. Imagine the body being filled with the energy of the breath from head to toe. Exhaling, let the breath out through the fingertips, the base of the spine, and the feet. Inhale, imagine the body being filled with the energy of the breath from the head to the toe. Exhale, let the breath out through the fingertips, the base of the spine, and the feet. You can stay with this as long as you need and come out whenever you're ready. Thank you for joining me in your practice today. It is an honor. Namaste.